You get some waves that are big, you know, and really nice, and you get some that are just nasty. And if you go down them, you won't, you won't be standing at the bottom of them. There's a couple of, couple of things that are, a lot of people miss, I, I think, in regards to driving these boats in, in waves, and that's everyone's just always trying to catch the wave, whereas I think the most important thing is, once you're on it, how to get off that wave and get to the next one. So, you, so I'm constantly looking at probably 30 degrees above the bow, but a long way out, and you kind of get a picture in your mind of the shape of the wave, because half the time when you go down it, you got very little vision with all the spray. And then you find your exit to get off that wave onto the next, and then you set for your next wave. But the relationship with the trimmers is vital. You gotta spend months learning each other in terms of how they trim and steer, so your techniques are all different. There's one thing in the briefing before this race was to try and get the right pairing. There's plenty going on in your head. So the heel angle is critical. It's the most critical thing to the boat speed. So I focus on that a lot. I don't need the instruments for that. I know I know exactly what heel angle the boat's on and what it requires when.